Um, the team that took the Cavs to seven games in the Eastern Conference Finals, Boston, they've got a big question mark about their returning roster because, yes, the Celtics and restricted free agent Marcus Smart still have yet to agree to a deal. Smart's agent st still sort of shopping with other teams, seeing if he could get an offer sheet out there. Where do you think things stand? I mean, and, and long term, if he stays in Boston, is this damaging? Yeah, this is business. This is the business. This is it's the other side that it's, we don't hear. Right. Much this is restrictive about. free agency. We do it every single year, and every year everyone's shocked. That how could it be? This is how it works. Right. And and unfortunately for Marcus, he's in a market where there's not a lot of buyers because the money's kind of tight, you. and because people are looking to 2019, saying, "Well, I'd rather go shopping then." So there might be a strong likelihood that he has to take a qualifying offer because he's not going to get the money he wants, right? The flip side of that is you can't say, oh, the Celtics don't really want him or don't really like him. If that were the case, they would have rescinded his qualifying offer. The deadline for doing that without asking his permission passed. Sure. We saw that happen to Jabari Parker. We saw that happen to yeah, Julius Randle. Jabari one was mm -hmm. joint. I'm just saying it was. <laughs> they didn't need to ask for his permission to do it. They did it because but they Angel realized. The press release is joint. Yeah. You guys talked about that the other but, day. No, but the, the, the point being is um, they want him there, yes. but they just want him there at the number that they feel comfortable at, and he wants to be there, but he they wants to have... They lost his train of thought for a minute. Yeah, yeah, did. Yeah, you <laughs> threw me joint. off. But you think... You think Marcus, saying joint, and I'm... Joint. In America. <laughs> you, you think Marcus Smart really wants to go to Atlanta? You think, no, of course. You think yeah. he's really I think he wants he's to stay in Celtics yeah. and get a big deal from he him. Wants, and absolutely. That's obviously not going to happen And if you're Danny Ainge right now, guys, you got your sunglasses on and your pina colada in your hand, and you're going, you know... Everything's going to be okay. Yeah, that's, 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 producer, right. that's true. Producer but Tucker is working on that Photoshop okay. right now. Um, <laughs> I, mean, I guess the only question is if he takes the qualifying offer with the idea of, hey, 2019 and there's more money. I am. I do want to do a running list sometime of all the guys who pushed themselves to 2019, how much money there really will be. Mm -hmm. if, if there's a huge crowd of players looking for money, that pool of money, even if it's bigger, doesn't matter so much. I don't know. I'm interested in to see how this works there's, out. There's always Whether more money than players. Qualifying offer. When that, when that happens, there's always more money than players. Maybe. Those kind of summers happen. We'll see.